Welcome to Q&A with Coach Edo. Today's question comes from Cora, and it's with the Olympics that's happened recently. It's understandable why this question has cropped up. It's why is the TT bike, why is the time trial bike not used in the Summer Olympics? Coach Edo. And I saw somebody post the answer that the Summer Olympics are governed by the ITU and um, the ITU doesn't allow TT bikes, therefore you won't get TT bikes in Olympic distance triathlon and that's why they're not at the Summer Olympics. Not entirely true. Your long distance triathlon that's governed by the ITU does allow time trial bikes. So that question is not quite accurate. The reason why time trial bikes are used at the Olympic level at Olympic triathlon is simply because Olympic triathlon is draft legal triathlon. In other words, you've got the riders riding together in a peloton type of situation. And just the same way as in professional cycling races where you've got a tightly bunched peloton together, time trial bikes are not allowed in that type of situation because when you enter your time trial type like that, you are a long way away from where your brakes are, so which makes the chances of crashes in a peloton of cyclists tightly packed together that much of a higher risk. When you've got your uh, non-drafting triathlon where at professional level each rider needs to be separated from another rider by 10 meters, you have plenty enough time to be able to move out of the tuck, down onto the horns and engage the brakes if you're needing to do so, if you're starting to get too close to another rider. Also remember that when riders are overtaking each other, they need to overtake each other in, dra in uh, non-drafting uh, triathlon. You need to move out a distance of two meters so there will be never another rider really close to you. So that is why um, time trial bikes are not used in the Summer Olympics. Simply put, the type of racing, with it being draft legal racing, will be too dangerous to put a time trial bike in that type of situation. That's my take on the matter. Post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. Share this out amongst your friends. Remember, if you uh, like this type of content, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button that's down there. And last but by no means least, remember, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Whoa. Oh.